Good morning. Welcome back to Four More Minutes. I am Sam Bailey, the Soul Stir, stirring up your hearts and your minds for God. I want to thank you for joining us today, and I appreciate all of you who have taken out the time to join us today. And it really means a lot, and it's encouraging as we attempt to put inspiration, encouragement, and motivation out into the world. Today, I want to ask if you can please share this with 25 people. It really will be greatly appreciated. You never know who's going to need it. You never know who's going to be blessed by it. Today, I want to talk about trusting God. Uh, and sometimes we think we need to try harder when we really need to just trust deeper. Uh, and trying harder by our own human efforts. We think that if we do more, say more, be more, then we'll be able to accomplish more. But sometimes real growth is occurring when we're having to wait right it's that that process when a seed is planted and there's an incubation process where the seed is developing but if you keep digging it up it'll never grow it's got to grow in the dirt it's got to grow in the dark just like a baby growing in it in uh, its mother's womb uh, sometimes we don't like that feeling of being in god's womb waiting uh, to be birthed uh, into our new process and so sometimes we keep trying harder I try to find the right friends try to be successful try uh, but but we don't need to try harder we just need to trust deeper uh, and, and and maybe when we find ourselves trusting we'll find ourselves making better decisions being more prone to having spiritual discernment instead of rash irrational judgments we will not rush to judgment so much we won't be irritable when things don't work out the way we think they ought to work out, how we think they ought to work out. And we'll really experience growth that comes from watering, growth that comes from having the right seed and, uh, that falls on the right soil. And then we'll learn that we really should trust God and not men, not women, not things, not materialism. You can't serve God and mammon, the word says, or God and material things. Uh, God is a jealous God, so he wants no other God above him. And sometimes we miss that point trying to try harder. You know, <laughs> that's like you want your kid. I'm trying to obey you. I'm trying to do right. Don't just try to do it. Do it. <laughs> you can go to school and pay attention unless there's something wrong with you or you're just rebellious. You can do it. Uh, stop trying so hard. Some some things we just got to relinquish to God. And maybe if you would take your hand off of the wheel, like people say, Jesus, take the wheel. My question is, why didn't Jesus already have the wheel? <laughs> he should have had it from jump. Jesus is my co-pilot. No, Jesus is the pilot. He is the one that's charting the course. He ought to be the one that's navigating. Uh, he ought to be the one that's guiding and directing. Uh, and you know, then that wherever you arrive, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And I think we make mistakes and we still keep trying to correct our own mistakes. You got to even give your mistakes to him, your guilt and your shame, and your disappointment and your heartache and your frustration. You got to say that you know better than I do. Uh, and you know things that I don't know. So it's really all about trusting God. It's all about depending upon God. It's all about walking with God. So I want to encourage you today on your journey. If you you keep trying harder, stop trying. Just trust God. They say, well, God, I know you have me. I know you'll guide me. And you'll see a lot more things open up in your life. Doors that you thought were closed. Barriers in your way removed. Uh, enemies will get less attention <laughs> and even you will put less expectation on yourself therefore minimizing the disappointment that you have in yourself and others well god bless you share this message we'll see you next time right here on four more minutes have an outstanding day thank you